Hey everybody, here's another little Christmas project that I know you're going to love and it's a little Christmas wreath and this could go on the front of a card on a scrapbooking page or you could thread some ribbon through it and hang it from a Christmas tree. You can decorate it any way you like, have it plain, have it blinged up or make it out of cardstock. So let's get started and what we need is some nice decorative paper now. I'm using a really heavy embossed sheet of paper from the Enchanted range which um, really looks great and it sort of pads out and it gets that nice 3D effect. I think a thinner paper wouldn't work as well. Cardstock worked fine, that was nice and thick as well, so I'd stick to a heavier weight of card rather than a thin decorative sheet of paper. So the first thing to do is cut ourselves a four centimeter strip of cardstock. Now what I've discovered is this guard is exactly four centimeters. So is sorry not four, two. <laughs> a two centimeter oh no it is four. Yeah a four centimeter strip of cardstock. Okay, so there's the four centimeter mark straight down. And you will need eight segments all together. So there are eight segments on this, so you could do alternating colours, you could do it all in one colour, it's up to you. Um, this one's the one sheet of paper that I've used, and this is alternating. So um, we'll just do one for now and see how we go. <coughs> so now I'm going to change my blade over and put my scoring blade in and take my piece of paper out. Now, I wouldn't score on this side because it's got the embellishment on it, it's quite... Um, bumpy so I'm turning it over and I'm going to score on this side so I'm going to score it at the halfway mark which is the two centimeter line which is just there my blade down score change my blade over to a cutting blade now okay so we've got our nice score line and what we need are segments that are eight centimeters long so just bring that down into the light so eight centimeter segments and I'll just cut two for now. Okay, eight centimeter segments. Oh, I might cut three. I've got enough room. And I'll discard that piece. Okay. So when you're making the actual petals that go in here, what we need to do is fold the card in half with the embossed part of the paper on the outside and you'll now see that there is a side that's got a fold and a side that's open and it's the open side that we'll be working with today so what we're going to be doing is folding the corners down and um, leaving a little pocket open like that so from the side that's open we fold the corner down okay so from the side that's open we fold the corner down Okay, so that then creates a little pocket there, and then we're going to fold that one in half on top of itself, on top of the two corners that we just folded in. Okay, so there's the two folders, co corners that we folded in, and folded in half. And this creates two little pockets there, which um, you will need to use your multi purpose tool to open them up. Um, and they can be quite fiddly so I'm just going to do one or two and I've pre-prepared one otherwise we'll be here for ages but um, if you're having trouble just open it up put your multi-purpose tool in and then stretch it because you're going to be slotting some paper in there okay so there's the first one we'll do another one so fold it in half along your score line once again we've got the open side, the folded side, we're going to fold from there down. So we're going to fold the open side down. I'm going to fold the open side down. And this is very thick paper so you, you're going to have really strong fingers by the time you finish because um, it is quite tough. You can actually pop that open before you fold it in half, make it a bit easier on yourself. Okay, and we're folding that exactly in half. Okay, folding that nice and tight. 
open these up and I'll show you why we need to open those up. Oop, can be quite tricky. Just take your time. Okay. So what we're going to do, you see that these you have one side that's on an angle, one side that's flat. With the open side up, we're going to put these two pieces into here. Okay. So this is why it is a little bit tricky, but it's worth making the effort to do it. Okay, so once you get the hang of it, you get quite quick at doing it. Okay, so as you can see, these two corners have gone into the slits that are open and push it in. And that forms the star on our wreath. So I've started putting one together here. Okay, and I'm up to, I've tried to go green, red, green, red, green, black. Okay, so I'm going to pop this one in here. Now, as you get to, towards the end, it gets a little bit trickier. So you have to sort of push this one to one side in order to get to this one. And um, you will need to use your multi-purpose tool to open it. If it's not opening up, just take it out. It's not a problem. Put your multi-purpose tool in and open that up. Don't make life hard for yourself, you know, because you've already started doing it. You can't pull it apart. You certainly can. Okay, so then we'll slot that one back in. And as you can see, because that one's already had this in, in it, it's easy to put back in. Okay, so we'll go with the red one. This one has a red side, so we'll go with that one. Get that one in. Okay. Quite easy. Now... The best way to do this last bit is to try and cup it in your hands to stop it from falling apart. Okay, so we'll slot the last one in here. So we now have eight. We have this part open here. So then all we do, I hope you can see that nice and clearly, is you get that last one in and push. And there we have a gorgeous little wreath. So it was really quite easy to do. I'll go through the folding with you one more time because it is a, a bit tricky. Okay, so this was 8 centimetres by 2 centimetres scored down the centre, folded in half. Okay, once again the open side, we fold the corner down, down to the folded side. The open side folded down to the folded side. Okay, that creates our little pocket where our corners are going to go. Open it up. Don't be afraid to really push it open and then fold it in half. Okay, to create a sort of a shoe. Alright, so there we have it. Very, very easy to do. They look great on a card. They look great hanging from the roof in a classroom. Very, very easy to make. Hope you enjoyed that one. Bye.